Hey guys, uh, we're so 65 coming at you. Uh, bit of a late start to the day, a little bit of a stressful morning, but we're here, we're doing it. Hi Shane. Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm sorry mate. Come on in, there's no five stars. No five stars. Harry, what's up? Hello. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. What's up? What's going on? Uh, sorry we're late. You're terrible, man. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> hey guys, uh, we're episode 65 coming at you. We do, we'll do a vlog because Steve's up and we don't get to see Steve very often. If we just do like event coverage, it won't be the same. And we don't have a cameraman because he bitched out because he's sick. But we have a Harry. Harry, can you run a camera? Harry, but can you run a camera? Or can you though? <laughs> yeah. All right, team. We're on our way to Speed Show. That's kind of today's mission to check out Speed Show. So we've got Steve, who's finally coming to Speed Show for a video. So he's in the back seat. Cause um, were you bad or did Shane? Just I didn't call cool shotgun quick enough. Apparently, um, I'm disputing the rules, but that's what it is. And then we've got Shane, of course, because today. Why are you here? I'm not sure. I've been abducted. Please okay. contact my family immediately. And we're uh, having a hoon in the little i30, which we've done the video for this. That'll be online in a couple of days, but it's still lots of fun. So I'm just going to make the most of the time that I have left with it. But it does this. It didn't crackle. It's too much weight in the car. <laughs> That's harsh, man. Who didn't have breakfast yet? We're currently backing in the car park. This is exciting footage, everyone. You don't get this sort of footage on just any blog. We didn't say it would be good, we said it would be real. That's good, bro. So tune in in 45 minutes <laughs> and we'll still be circling the car park. Okay, we're going down. Turn down for what? Good way. Whoa! Okay, there's no lift access from this floor. No, but there's parks on this floor. Yeah. Don't shame. <laughs> we have arrived. There's a park right there. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Entire day of filming. Unusable. Shane? No. That's me. It's Pull the Steve. handbrake. Shane! <laughs> Perfect. Let me get out and film to show you exactly where we're parked here. Steve's left. He's had enough. So we're currently parked up. Um, we've arrived late, so we're going to pack up and leave. Why did we arrive late, mate? End of what vlog. was that about? Uh, What's I the boot space like that? Boot space in this is not bad. Get a body in there. So we're at Speed Show, uh, we're just going to walk around basically because I think this is your first Speed Show isn't it? Yes, I'm yeah. a, I'm so, a virgin. So we'll just follow Steve around and you can all pop his cherry with him. And then Shane's here too, we still don't know why. But yeah, we're a cameraman down so I'm having to do cameraman but we're, we're having a look at some stock cars. Oh, all of the retro stuff's out there. You literally wouldn't buy a truck like that unless you, unless you actually bought it off a guy called Murray, would you? Seriously. Or Colin. It's not a Colin, no. No, it actually had paint on it if it was a Colin. Oh, Steve's Speed Shop. Now you have to buy it. Because it's got your name on it. It's ugly. Not road legal, left hand drive. Ugly as fuck. It's that ugly, the guy's owns it standing right there. So the jet ski I had was a three seat sea dude, kind of like that greenish one over there. And they put it in a swimming pool here and um, run around a bit and then sold it to me. It had done, I looked at the clock and it hadn't done its first hour yet. So they wanted like 28 grand for it, I bought it for 24 and then spent 7 grand making it go faster. Was that the same one that put a bunch of people in hospital? Uh, six people went to hospital, one by helicopter, which was not good. Um, Famous international New Zealand race driver Angus Fogg got put in hospital by that one. He probably is, yeah. He's here every year. We'll go to that though. That's nice though, and the black one over there. Yeah. 
Catch the 2015 Street Glides. I've lost Steve and Shane because I keep seeing people that I know and like stopping and talking shit and hanging out and catching up because a lot of the people that you see at these events you only see at these events. So I'm like walking around catching up with people. Oh, and I found them. Sorry. Um. We've been worried sick about you. We've just been killing time till you turned up. Like I said to your mum, just tell us if you're going to wander off, okay? Oh look, look who I found. Hi! Do you remember last time that we went for pizza and I said, and you came on your bike, and I said do a wheelie, do you remember what happened? I remember what happened. Should we roll the clip? You can roll the clip. We'll roll the clip. I'm totally too scared to do a wheelie. I can't even ride. <laughs> I can't even ride. <laughs> <laughs> and it ended up back on the internet again. Again, again. Again, and, and it hasn't really gone away. How long ago was that? Three years ago? It was actually a really long time. That Four was years I, ago, five years ago. That was when I proposed to you, and you now have a new fella, so quite some time. Yeah, but we still hang out. Yeah. yeah. We're still friends, even though you keep bringing up my wheelie tail video. And the rejection of marriage. Okay. Sounds good. I'm quite slow. I know. You'll watch out for Well, me. it's only a little bike. Mm, it is only a little bike. It's had lots of interest in it. There's, there's Maybe it's because you're on it? Like, do the guys' bikes get interest? I don't think they know that I'm a girl when I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> you want cheese on your hot dog? Yes. We're just going to put it at the back of this. People freak out with these because there's like basically no tyre at the back. Everyone expects them to have a massive tyre. No, but there's no traction. traction. Yeah. yeah. So and 300 the, miles an hour, so the battery pack huge. Hot dogs to hot rods. No, I wasn't ready, can you do it again? From hot dogs to hot rods. It's way less funny when you have to do it a full I'm time. here all week, don't forget to tip your waitress. This is, a mistake. this is exactly the type of car that an old man like Steve would buy. Soft enough suspension for his balls. And it's easy on your back with a nice big seat. Easy on your back. Manual. That's a Jag, that's for classy old people. The talk back radio. I've always wanted a Jag, but I just don't have enough tweed in my wardrobe. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> you just How much is enough? Market a lot. How much is enough? Steve! Is that your old car? Yeah. But you had one just like this, and it was what, 850 horsepower? Yeah, my, uh, mine was a 2015, this is 2016. And this is actually manual, so it'll be largely undrivable, but same model, same tail, same mags, same colour. Same uh, brake calipers and everything. That's a cool car. Scared a few people, including me. Why did you get rid of it? Because it just ate tyres. It, it took more tyres than it did petrol, you know? It was At any speed. I'm safe at any speed. This is cool. Paint. It up to the point where it was undrivable. Well, when your body works so straight, you don't need paint. A lot of bulk of filler in there. I need to hire this guy to work on my body. You could have lumps and vents as well. Is that Steve's old car? You know, I think that's actually very similar to Steve's current car. I wish he had the roll cage for when I drive it. Because I'm going to go down to see Steve in Wellington, stay with him for a couple of weeks, and he's got a hot rod that's very similar to this. And I wish that they had a roll cage because I'm going to test it. Shout out to Rapid Dry Towels. I bought one because my mate Nick Murray said to get one and they're really good. You should buy one. Very cool. So that, we're going to the shops and possibly. Perfect. Where do I put my latte? Latte holder. Oh perfect for you, Shane. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Will I get my Lacoste shoes dirty though? Get a party logo on it so people would know that you're better than me. Yeah. You'd have to, eh? Double park. Yeah, yeah. So does that, will that fit in a disability spot? 
Yeah. 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 Nah. Are you currently? Nah. <laughs> yeah, this isn't just coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the liquor stand there for lunch. You know? That's right. Actually, you guys know that I've been doing some work with Evan Rood, um, which is owned by BRP, and these are BRP Canem. So I feel. Like, I need to be like, hey, look, guys, we're doing a great job of this boat show. Like, let's do some Can Am stuff. And then I'll just get a jet ski and one of these, and I'll tow my jet ski to the beach with one of these. And then hopefully get a match on Tinder or something. That'd be perfect when you go off the grid and you wear a tinfoil hat. I already live, have live a tinfoil hat. Live off the land. I'm pretty much already doing that anyway. I live in Calcop. Yeah, but that's only because the person who owns a house doesn't know you're living there, squatting there for free. <laughs> Oh, Quick question. Yeah. Where's the burgers at? Oh, you hungry? Should we go get food? We might have to do this bit first. Oh. Oh, this one's a little bit different to what we came in. I just took a little bit of weight out. Yeah. You won't believe how many coins were under those mats. Better than our one. So that is really cool. Yeah. Size does matter. I could pull that off. Pull that size. I could make that look cool. I could. Yeah. I mean, stand next to it. Oh no, Steve, this one. That one? T-Rex, yeah. Oh, wait. I actually didn't think that there were any of these in New Zealand. That's but one of the ones that are... That's a Polaris, though. Yeah. Do that, how do you launch it? Right. You always wanted a Rolls? That's awesome, man. I love that. That's so cool. Anybody can buy the or build the quintessential 34 or 4 or whatever, you know. This is, this is just so one off. Got a machine gun at the front. You, you never go to a hot rod show and end up competing with another Rolls Royce Phantom like that, would no, you? No, they would disown you if you turned up at a Rolls Royce convention in this. That'll be the way to do it, though. Yes. Like, if there was a convention for Rolls Royce owners, this is the exact Rolls Royce owner. Turn up in this sideways with a flamethrower shooting out the back. So the cool thing at this show, well one of the major cars that they're showing is the new Toyota Supra which I have got booked on press to do a re review film on for our show The Open Road but there it is, in the flesh that's a working model. So this one's actually sold which means that I can't I can't even look at it, let alone touch it, uh, which certainly means I can't get you any interior shots. But um, just go on Google Image and go 2019 BMW Z4, and it's pretty much the same. <laughs> oh, was that? Was I, am I being an ass? Because who's touching me? Sorry, I got around. It's, a, the it's a bit of a joke, but it's not really because it's kind of true. They did change the badge on the steering wheel, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my dream car. This is the poster car that I had on my wall when I was 10 years old. This is a proper Gen 1 um, RT10 Viper which is awesome. But we're actually on the Final Touch stand. And you guys, if you've been with us for a, a long time, we used to do quite a lot with Final Touch. They were the people that Plasti dipped my super van back in the day on our old YouTube channel. Oh look, look who I found. Oh, g'day. Hey Nick, how are you? Nick, Nick's my favourite journalist in the whole of New Zealand. It's true. This is actually the first webisode in four webisodes that we're not going on a trip that you've set up. Correct, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool, but like you're here anyway. Yeah. We've got yeah. the rocks, which I haven't yet had a play in. But we, we were just saying we're going to take it out to the beach and launch it, right? Full scent, airborne. <laughs> well, no, we, the only thing we'll be launching off the back of the rocks, Nick, will be a Kontiki when we go fishing. You said I could jump it. No, no, no I, said I, I said you could jump in it. The marketing head comes out when you turn the camera on. I wish you guys could know head the way that I know it. <laughs> so what do we think of Speed Show, Steve? 
yeah, it was all right. I didn't mind it. It was some some cool displays and some cool cars in there. Some really bogan people. So you know, my people. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, nah, not that bogan. Oops. Um, no, it was good. I enjoyed it. It's fun. That's good. You gonna come to Big Boys Toys? I'd like to. Yeah, I think Big Boys Toys would be more my thing, really. It's different. It's the same thing, different. Yeah. But yeah, I always like coming to these shows because it's always you get to see people that you don't get to see very often, hang out, catch up, etc., etc., and uh, see some corny stuff. Translation: You get to go because it's free. Well, there's that. Price is right, you know. Yeah. Let me drive. <laughs> Not on the insurance. Don't need insurance. It's it's car park. Open road now. Push start button with key. Pass me the key. I'd love to see what it looks like. No. Stephen. How come you'll share girlfriends but not toys? I'll press the button, you won't let me. Go on. I'll just start it up, I won't go anywhere. Promise. Steven. What? Steven. Dad. Steven! Can we get an ice cream? Yes. Do I get to pull the handbrake? No. Can we get an ice cream? Ah! Take that. You're mean. Oh, I'm gonna go with mum next time. Well, if I can find you a mother, you can go with that. Cheers. <laughs> Steve. What? Just stopping in uh, Ponsonby for a feed uh, at Burger, Wisconsin. And I have never been here before, so I reviewed the one in Tauranga the day that it opened and they were having teething problems. Yeah. Anyway. Um, and then we're going to go look at some more cars. And Shane said that I did really good gear changes and I didn't get it on camera, which is unfortunate because I feel like he's never going to say it again. He's closed. It is. We'll break it. Yeah, it's a center. Steve, you should get one. Yeah, um, they're 1.8 million dollars, and I'm short by about 1.8 million dollars. Okay. And also, they're all sold. You can't buy them in all the sale anymore. This one's for sale, but. The latest. What's that you can sell a test for? Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah. You know, the left or the right one. I feel like this is a little out of my clutch range. <laughs> Some orange sherbet. You want a sherbet? Orange sherbet. This bit here. That's where the machine gun comes out. In my mind. Hi. You remember me from the speed show. <laughs> How awesome would it be to have a bedroom for your car and it's got its own TV, it's got its own lounge. Shade, does your house have that? No, but it'd be good. The car could just have some quiet time on its own. Just to contemplate. Like all the things that you've done to it? Yeah. Or if you have driven up the erratic gear changes. You said my gear changes were good. Yeah, but the burning clutch smell wasn't. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Stuff. The car builder would make something that's sort of style. So we're looking for Shane for a new SUV. Now the Euros, just looking at the bed space. Pretty yeah. practical. Yeah, how many bodies do you think? Yeah. 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 Not because anybody goes with these ones, it's all about style. It is, yeah. They do look cool. I mean, I, the, the couple of accounts that have come in here, yeah. I can't see what's for. It is possible. It's like, yeah, it's in fire. You controls for a, a, a yacht, like Ford. That's rad, eh? That's cool. See, I've been waiting for months to get Steve into these vlogs so you guys can meet him and all that sort of stuff. And it turns out he's just an asshole. A little bit. You knew this. I did know this. It wasn't a shot. No. It wasn't hiding it very well. No, I knew that, but I didn't. I thought that they might want to like you. I'm not likable. Um, this is not the end. Uh, we're actually doing some stuff tomorrow, but it's, it's the end, the end for Steve yeah. and Shane. I won't get a bite um, Until I actually go and stay with Steve, which is in two, three weeks. Cut it off. Which has been uninvited. <laughs> Again. Ah. It's alright. Love you, man. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Steve. Bye.
Hey team, uh, I actually realized that I did not film an outro for this and that's because today we were supposed to be going and doing some sponsored content which uh, unfortunately didn't happen, uh, shit happens, whatever, we'll reschedule it, it's fine. Um, but I was going to show you that, so because we're not doing that, that means that this is the end of the vlog. So uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you thought it was cool, show us with a thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and you can see all our other videos. There is a lot more coming actually, There's um, we've got a bunch of cool cars coming up because we've got the uh, ZL, uh, Z71 Camaro which is going to be amazing and then of course the Supra that you saw in this video, the Rocks that you saw in this video and the uh, <laughs> before too long the 2020 Corvette which is going to be amazing. Um, and some trips because I'm going down to Wellington to stay with Steve, we're going to eat burgers and I've got some photo shoots lined up so there's a lot coming up so yeah, if you enjoy what we do, just hit that subscribe button and you get to see all of it. And uh, yeah, until then, we'll see you next time. Uh, if you're not already, head over to the NZ Blokes Facebook page or whichever page of ours that you know grabs your interest. And um, yeah, get communicating on there because the thing for us is that a lot of what we do is actually... It's not just us yelling shit at you, like we don't want to be like barkers, you know, saying like, hey, like here, bark, you know, here's a thing. It's like, no, it's a conversation, it's two-way street. And we actually really enjoy that sort of two-way dialogue, so the more that we have it, the better it is. So yeah, uh, anyway, other than that, that's enough from me. We'll uh, see you next time. I'm off to the gym. Yeah.